So I just really waste one thousand dollars on a stupid Unity game. Hi, I really enjoy playing this little game called SCP Secret Laboratory, or at least I think I do. You see, it has gotten really slow recently, and it sometimes takes me up to an hour to render a single frame. Thus, I can't get myself into any action, use guns, or even run away from enemies. My friends keep telling me that I should start playing some other game that is less confusing and is actually playable, but I'm sure they're just jealous. I have no idea how we ended up here. I started playing before Scopophobia, and everything was running almost slightly below average. Then the Parabellum Beta came, which gave me even more frames to work with. And then, when it was released, the frame rate dropped, for some reason. Later, in another update, they've added a new feature called Random Lag Spikes that only happen to you, and only when you're in a tense situation. LAG! FOR THE LOVE OF! When people got mad, Northwood responded by not updating the game for a year. Luckily, with the Mimicry Beta, they've removed random lag spikes, but they've decided to keep the terrible frame rate, probably for balance reasons. But luckily, I had a lot of money saved up, so I've decided to upgrade my computer. I've bought myself a new, shiny RTX 4070, which has cost me $600. I've also had to spend money on a new power supply, because the old one was too weak. This required me to replace all of the German cables in my computer to these black, slick, and very difficult to bend ones. And after hours of hard labor, this was the result. Okay, let me get this straight. I've upgraded my computer with one of the most powerful and expensive graphics cards out there, and I get this. What? You see, SL is not only demanding graphically, but also computationally. And turns out, my CPU is old. You might say, you have an old CPU, tough luck, but it's not that bad. I do not have any other application or game on my computer that has an issue with it. So, another $200 later, I have a CPU, and this time I even received it in a box with a cooler. By the way, thanks for that, Allegro. T today we fix computer. However, computer, no, no is a proper alcohol. This is gonna be interesting. This is definitely not a questionable bottle. As you can see right here, it's actually stuck in there really good. Okay, there we go. Why didn't you tell me this? I forgot that. Yeah, it's not outputting anything. That's not a good sign. So turns out this website is lying, and I have to update my BIOS and take apart my computer for the fourth time just so that maybe, with a bit of luck and isopropyl alcohol. I could have two additional frames in a cell. If this game isn't a mental illness, then I don't know what is. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Now it's time to witness something that only a few people on this planet will be able to experience. He's dead. Is that? You thought I was gonna have 200 frames or something like that? Nah, this is a cell. And for the first time ever, I was able to stream with a consistent frame rate and even enjoyed the game like I used to in the past. Mmm. I know your intentions, and I do not like that. <gasps> is it? <laughs> oh, hi. It just kind of sucks, honestly. Well, it will appear like you died. No, the other way. Fire my life, holy garbage. Was there a bug behind me? Oh, what is this guy about you?
Why do you have H full chance. HP? This doesn't we make sense. See, oh, that's what I'm talking about. That's what, what I was fuck? trying to achieve this whole time. But we ain't done yet. You see, I am a curious being and throwing money at the problem doesn't really satisfy me. A lot of people have different theories about why game no work, so let's go over some of them. Unoptimized models. No. Most new models in SL have different LOD levels, and the old containment bridge garbage doesn't really eat up as many resources that you would think. Not to mention there's a whole culling system in place, so your computer doesn't calculate rooms that you're not likely to see. Lighting and shadows. Eh, sort of. I mean, it certainly doesn't help, but from my testing, the difference wasn't that great. Bullet holes and decals. No. I thought this was the main cause for a long time, because at the start of the round the game doesn't lag that much. However, after 20 spawn waves and 4 billion dead bodies sprinkle around the facility, it gets a bit slow. Sadly, if you disable decals, the lag stays. Ragdolls. No. You can enable ragdoll cleanup time and once again, lag stays. Unity. No, shut up. Bad code. No. Somehow. After the recent and not so recent updates, a lot of code has been rewritten. And the frame rate has gotten worse, so... Coincidence? Okay, at this point I have no idea. The only other reason I can think of is having a lot of items on the ground from dead bodies, but once again... I may be proven wrong for the 20th time. I'm starting to wonder if Unity has a hard-coded check that if your game is named SCP Secret Laboratory, it just bottlenecks the performance. Or maybe Norfolk has an agreement with Nvidia, Intel or some other company to purposely slow their game down so that people will buy more RTXs. As you can see, it clearly worked. I refuse to believe that they are not keeping the frame rate so low for some malicious intent. I mean, they are not getting any money from this. One grand! You know how much patron money that is? I have recently purchased the beta, but I've decided to cancel my subscription, even though I wanted to see the new 096 patron post, because I literally spent too much money on this game already. You know what, Norfoot? If you release the performance update tomorrow, I will give you 1000 schmackeronis immediately. Oh wait, never mind, because I spent it already on my computer! Okay, I was rather harsh throughout this whole video, but don't get me wrong. Norfoot are actually quite competent. Mimicry has made itself feel like a real video game with actual thought put into it and 173. SL is and always was a mess. It always had a lot of junk and the only thing keeping it together was duct tape, spit and a prayer to God. Updating a game like this is a challenge on its own. Look at Splitgate. That thing got cancelled because the code was trash. Most people just immediately cut their losses and move on to create a sequel or something completely new. But they've persisted and now they are slowly starting to release updates at a reasonable pace while not committing suicide too often. And some kind of performance update is just unrealistic. People expect new features, adjustments and changes. You can't just dedicate an entire year to making the game run better. Sure, more people will be able to play the game, but at that point it might be too late. One day, a cell can turn into something great, with incredible graphics, gameplay, and maybe even performance. But before we get there, we will sadly have to deal with all of this nonsense. In my Why SL is Bad video, I've stated at the end that most of the things I said are probably wrong, and that I don't care about developers when saying this, because if we don't do that, then all we will be able to say is that everything is okay. But it's not okay. This level of optimization is unacceptable, no matter your history, reasons and explanations. Last time I complained about performance, a lot of people said, But it works on my computer! Well, your computer is not shipped with the game now, is it? I should not have to upgrade my computer that literally can run any other game out there just for a single title. But for the time being, not much is gonna change. The game will keep running terribly and it might even get worse in the future. But that's the thing you get when you want to play SL. Instead of spending money on SL, you can spend it on some kind of addiction. And yes, you might get lung cancer, be 20 million dollars in depth or say goodbye to your liver, but at least you will get some fun out of it for like a second. Because with SL, we only get misery. Anyways, I'm gonna go play Portal RTX now because my computer can now do ray tracing. Also, my portal is full of cam. I don't know why. Why is my portal full of cam? GLaDOS explain what did you do. Now I need to think, I need to think what I think of the graphics. Piss off Lady Gladi. Lady Gladi. Lady Gladi. That's, that's her name now. Oh, that looks so nice. Oh, that's not... What did he do to GLaDOS? Numero uno! This is like this a uh, strange, a really strange hybrid between the GLaDOS 1 design and uh, GLaDOS Portal 1 and GLaDOS Portal 2. Numero uno, sorry, dos, normal cores from Portal 2. Why? Numero tres, where do they attach? Where? 
Where? Where that man is floating? What's the command for spawning airboats? Hold that. TH create airboat. Yes! Airboat! Let's go! I am playing legit right now. Uh, please don't mind the half-life overlay. This is really strange to see. So, that was interesting. And where is my frame rate? Thank you. Did it actually just crash? I guess I'm stuck with SL for the rest of my life.